Hi everyone and welcome back to English Without Borders. I'm Kayla, your American accent, fluency, and confidence coach here to support you in your language learning journey. Today is day eight of our 12 days of Christmas event here at English Without Borders. And it is all about a really popular part of American tradition now between both family and friends that we tend to do for the holiday season. This is a game, a gift giving game that we participate in that is fun. It has an element of surprise and at the same time, it is good for our wallets. <laughs> so it is something that saves us some money as well during this time of year when we are buying a lot of gifts for a lot of different people in our family or our friend groups. This game is called Secret Santa. And the way it works is each member within a family or a friend group will write down their name on a piece of paper. And normally you just crumble up, you fold up the piece of paper, you put it in a hat, and then you mix it up, right? Then every person draws a name from the hat and that person, they have to give a gift to them, right? So they become the Santa the secret Santa for that person. So let's say I pick my cousin's name at my family get together. I pick Cammie. Ah, okay. So I have to think of a secret Santa gift for Cammie. Now, normally we put some restrictions on how much we can spend on a gift. Normally it will be around $20. That's the limit that people can spend so that you don't get a gift that's too extravagant while in return someone gives you something very small, right? So this is something that big families do. We've done this in my family so that instead of buying a gift for 10 people, you buy a gift for one. And it's something that's really fun because you try to think of what gift or what thing or experience would be really fun and special for that person. You take your time to think of something very thoughtful. And on the day when you exchange gifts, you, you hold a gift giving party, right? Your secret Santa party. And this could be with just your friends, your friend group of five people, or it could be with a large group of family members, or it could be with your office. It could be something you do at an office party at your workplace. So when you receive your gift, when you open it up, you try to guess who was your secret Santa. So if I see a gift that I know only my cousin Mikey would know to get me something like that, then I could say, ah, it was you. Uh, but if I'm wrong, then my real secret Santa comes forward and says who they are. And it's just a really fun way to surprise your family and friends with something you know that they will love. And on top of it, it is more affordable because sometimes you just can't buy gifts for everyone. So it's just a really convenient thing as well. I have done almost every year since my adolescence a Secret Santa, either with my family or with my friend groups. And it's a really fun experience. So. If you have never done something like this with your friends, ask them if they would like to participate. It could be a fun way to have a reason to get together in a small group, enjoy some food and drinks together, uh, have some fun for the holidays with your own little party and give each other a thoughtful gift as well. That's all for the secret Santa tradition. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And let me know if this is something that is common in your country, if you do this, or perhaps you have another version or variety that you play as well with your family and friends. Let us know in the comments below. I would love to hear. And please make sure you join this week our free classes in the English Without Borders group because we have some really fun Christmas party uh, activities and events that I will be providing for you all. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already so that you never miss an update or a new video from me. Let me know if you plan a secret Santa party for you and your friends or family, and I will see you tomorrow in day nine.